All right, guys, so if you have a DJI Wireless Mic 2, which I'm showing in my hand, um, there is a new firmware that just came out uh, at the end of January 2024 um, with improved functionality for the DJI Wireless Mic 2. This is the transmitter. Uh, if you bought it individually, they also sell the receiver uh, together with, I think, two of those units. But I bought this as a creator package with my Pocket 3. So I'm going to show you guys how to update the firmware, which is actually exceptionally easy. Okay, The only thing you need is the USB-C cable connected to your PC. So you need to have a PC. Um, I don't know, they might have a version for the mic, as, uh, for the for the Mac as well. Basically, you need to connect this wireless mic to the PC to, to have it open up as a folder, okay? Once you have this connected, I'm gonna connect really quick. Give me one second. All right, so the moment you plug this into your PC, the light turns to a flashing green, which means it's in the, the fire transmitting mode. And if I show you guys what's on the screen, you can see it opened a folder. Um, you know, it could be a different drive, but it just got USB drive and you see a folder called DJI Audio 001. Now that means the mic is, tr is connected to the computer and it's gonna show you whatever file that you have stored, audio files that you've recorded on the, the DJI Wireless Mic 2 if you use the recording function. Now, um, the next thing is you have to go to DJI website, okay, um, to find the correct wireless mic firmware, which is, I already downloaded over here. It's got DJI Wireless Mic 2 transmitter version 0.4.3.08.31, and it's a BIN binary file. All you have to do once you have that file downloaded into your downloading folder or anywhere on your desk, just simply drag this firmware file into the root folder of the wireless mic 2. Once you put it here, you're gonna disconnect the wireless mic 2 from your computer, okay? And once you disconnect this light, supposedly it's gonna turn red and green, and let's see if it's gonna turn red and green, I'm gonna disconnect. And it automatically enters into the update mode, okay? Once this red and green stops flashing, the update is complete. And uh, you, I don't know if you need to reset it or not, but you can probably try to turn it off and return it back on, and it should be in the newest firmware. The new firmware enhanced the connectability or the connection um, reliability with the DJI Pocket Go 3. Oh, it's already, looks like it's down. So let's go into the Pocket 3 and just check on the version. With the new version, okay, right here, it's already, wow, the update is like so quick. So it's connected and it's ready to go. And we're gonna go into the settings from the Pocket 3, just to verify that it's, we're gonna go to wireless mic and let's see if some of the functionality is already enabled. Yes, so when you see auto power off, it automatically is enabled, that's a new firmware thing. So if you have the wireless mic uh, disconnected from any kind of the device, either the Pocket 4 or the Osmo po Action 4 or the Pocket 3, after 15 minutes, the device turns itself off. If you have the old firmware, it's just gonna run the battery down, okay? But the new firmware have a auto power off function, which is, I think, really, really helpful. And, um, check the firmware, it's 0 0.4.3, uh, I mean 0 0.4.3.8.31. Point so it is updated to the newest firmware. And uh, as you can see, the process is super simple. You download the binary file, you connect this to the PC, and you disconnect after you load the file into the root folder, and it automatically updates. Once it finishes updates, it deletes that file from the root folder, and of course, um, it shows blue, that means update is complete. You can verify with the Pocket 3, or you can probably verify also on the Osmo Action 4 if you are using that, using the wireless mic 2 paired with the Action 4. But that's how easy it is. So I hope this guide helps you guys um, if you have the same setup. And if you did find this video helpful, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. I will have more how-to tips coming out for you guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.